you strong. Hey guys, me Elysian here, back for another video, and today's video, I thought that I'll do a magic video, to be specific, that's an ocean, damn it, I will do my Molo Grinder Commander Deck Profile, because Molo, grind, Molo Grinder is a Rat Commander which I've had since... Probably say since November, so I've been I've been playing around with him for quite a while, tweaking the deck over and over again. But so yeah, I thought why not try to do like some come on deck profile so you guys can if you guys play magic then if you want to play rats this is probably a really good command to go for. But obviously you can choose from any other legendary like rat guys but I like this guy because well, he gives all rats fear and he can tap sack rat and then you put x11 black rats creature tokens into play where x is the number of number of rats you control so if you have like five rats you sack one tap where you tap sack one and you gain four other rats all together you have eight sure eight that four that can like attack and four that cannot but you're slowly growing your your rat army and they all have fear so yeah so. so i guess we'll like begin like oh with uh, my deck i obviously because i'm running rats i am running 15 rat colony 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 uh, damn it um so 15 rat colony um the reason why i can have 15 of these in commander is because i can have uh, a deck can have any number of rat colony card name rat colony in the deck so it kind of gets around the whole commander you can only have one of so it's it's an he's a good rat. He's a two one. So he come he's a two cost, one colorless, one black. He's a two one, um, and he gets plus one plus zero for each other rat on the board. So if you have say like three colonies, like they become each of them become a four one, which is quite insane it can be quite a lot of damage so let's get to the the normal rats that i run i want one trihide rats which is just a one a one black one one death touch rat which is still pretty good it's it's nice to just pop on board because i have death touch most like because something has death touch if this smacks anything it that they will both die, but that creature will die too. One burglar rat because I've got cards in the deck that go like deals extra damage when my opponent discard a card. One rancid rat because it's it's skulk. This creature can't be blocked by a creature with greater power. So it it's it's like having fear. But if this gets buffed, then it yeah it can be smack it can be like blocked by another one. Swarm of rats. Basically, it gets swarm of uh swarm of rats power is equal to the number of rats you control. So in this case, if he's on board and himself, he will come at you. He will become a four four. I'm sorry, a four one. Um, Palestine's rat. This guy uh, has the power equal to the total number of other rats in play. That doesn't mean, obviously, even if my opponent is playing rats, this still gets buffed because they always have rats on board. So, 
it become like on my board it will become a 4-3 which again is a pretty big rat one pack rats big pack rats power is equal to how many rats i have on board um i can pay three discard a card and put a token into the battlefield that's a copy of rat, a pack rat so it becomes like another copy which is another rat which means they both gain an extra death they both gain um an extra like an extra one and um, for the last rat creature is my ink eyes uh, which is a rat ninja so I can either pay her cost or I can pay the jitsu cost um, whenever ink eyes um, deals combat damage to a player you may put target creature card from that player's graveyard into the battlefield under your control so it damages I will say I'll take your big guy that I killed last turn and put him to my board. And then I can pay two to regenerate, so I think rats that, are quite powerful, I think. Like they're definitely good. They've got a lot of like power in them because if you got a whole ball of rats they're, they're all pretty big. Uh, now for the non-creature, now for the non-rat creatures. I play my Piper of the Swarm, which is rat you control have like menace. Um, that's the thing, I didn't explain what fear does. Fear means you can only block with either black creatures or artifacts. Menace means if I swing, or if if my if I have a rat that swings, uh, your opponent will have to block with two creatures, except of one. So having all my rats having both fear and menace, it's... Even if they have an artifact, it won't mean anything. Because they'll have to block with two... Obviously you have to be an artifact creature, but still. But one Chattering Witch, when Chattering Witch is its play, make... Uh, create a number of 1-1 one, one black rat creature tokens equal to the number of opponents you have. So again, if I'm going against, like, that's all together, four people, uh, that's like three rat tokens I'm getting. Plus I pay to sacrifice a rat target creature, get minus two, minus two, to the end of turn. Uh... Alana, um, first of uh, Lock, Lock on, Lock win. Um, basically, when when she or another black creature enters the board, um, Belfield under your control, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. There's a big combo on my deck revolving around her and another card. So if, obviously when she is when she goes down, my opponent will lose a life and I gain one. Then, um, and then I can tap sacrifice another black creature to draw a card. So if I need a card, I can just uh sack like a a small rat to gain to draw a card. Rat catcher, which has itself has fear. By the beginning of my upkeep, I can search my library for a rat card and put it into my hand. So if this guy is still on board when it's back to my turn, I can search for any rat card from my library, which is pretty good. And then Orc Slumlord, which whenever a non-black, whenever a non-token creature dies. You can put a 1-1 one, one black rat creature token into the battlefield. And then rats I control have death touch. So it comes into play if say one of my rats or one of my opponent creatures dies. I get a rat on board. And all, all my rats have like death touch again. Which is pretty strong. And then uh, I'm using the newer, the newest god. Embrus. Black. Um. Bleak hearted, um, indestructible um, as long as your devotion to black is less 
plus a seven it's not a creature uh, whenever another creature you control dies you may put you may pay two life and if you do draw a card and here's um tap mana a bit you sacrifice another creature target creature gets minus two minus one to the end of turn so again it makes other guys smaller and I can, if a creature dies, I pay to draw a card. So again, it's more draw power for the deck. And then for the last creature, I'm using my op. This guy's like a little, little tech, it's flying trample. Whenever an opponent sacrifices his... Or oh, whenever an opponent searches his deck, sorry. Uh, searches his or her library. A target player sacrifices a creature and loses 10 life. Whenever uh, another creature dies, put a 1-1 one, one counter on Ob. So again, it could be quite big. And it's when uh, when another creature dies, or so even when my like rats die, he can get himself quite big. So, like he's a scary card, even when I was playing him in my um, modern deck at the time. He, he was pretty scary. Uh, now for my Planeswalkers, I won altogether three Planeswalkers. Liliana of the Dark Realms. Uh, she comes in with three loyalty counters. Uh, I can plus one to search my deck for a swamp and put it to my hand. Minus three, I can target creature gets XX or uh, plus XX or minus XX. Uh, sorry, I can't read upside down. Until the end of turn, where X is the number of swamps you control. So if I've got five swamps, I can either gain a creature 5-5, five, five, or I can neg a creature 5-5. Five, five. Then minus 6, I can for e I can tap one swamp, and it'll count for three mana. And then I've got Li uh, Liliana Vess. Which is, uh, it comes over 5 counters, I can plus 1, target player, discard card. I can neg 2 to search my library for a card and put it into my hand. Neg 8 to put all life, uh, put all creature cards from all graveyards into the battlefield under your control. Uh, for my last, it's Solon. He's actually quite nasty. Um, here's plus 2, he comes over 4 counters, he can plus 2. Uh, Soren deals 2 damage to target creature or player, and you gain 2 life. But I mostly use him for his neck 3, which is target, opponent l target opponent's life uh, total becomes 10. So they can be on like, I don't know, 50 because they keep gaining life, and I can put them down to 10. Yeah, that's... I rarely ever... I have, he ever really lasts. He doesn't last long to get to the minus 7, which... Uh, you control target player's turn, so I can control my opponent's turn. I can say it's, I end your turn. Like yeah, it it's pretty nuts. Now for the like instance, I'm using darkness, which is basically a fog. It means like players can't take damage during the turn. I activate this like crypt in invasion. Uh. Exile all creature cards and target player's graveyard, you gain free life for each creature. Um, Hero's Downfall, which is just a destroy target creature or planeswalker, so it helps me destroy other people's planeswalkers. Uh, Doomblade, which allows me to destroy target non-black creature, so if someone else, so if there's, I'm um, playing a game and the guy's not using black and uses this to destroy any creature. And then, Altiers, we kept which is, as an additional cost of this card, sack a creature, I can draw two cards. So, obviously you can have as many instances as you want, you can... Obviously this is, this is just a template for people that want to play like a little fun game of rats. Uh, now for the sorceries, I play one uh, lab rat, which... It puts a 1-1 one, one black rat token into play, but if you pay a uh, buyback, which is an extra 4, you can add this card from your bin back to your hand. Uh, Demobolic Tutor, which is search your library for a card. Ooh. So again, it could just, it's two, 
two mana to search your deck for a card to put it to your hand. And then Diabolic Tutor, which is the same thing, but four cost. And then a really, really tricky card, Torment of Hellfire. Now, uh, recap, repeat the following progress X times each opponent loses free life unless that player sacrifices a non-land permanent or discard a card. Well, X is the in how many extra mana I play. So I've all together I played six, two for the cost to play the card, and four, they have to repeat the process four times. Which is pretty mad. Um and then X don't I can't pronounce this card, so I'll give you guys the name. My camera will focus, there we go. Um each opponent loses X life, you gain that, you gain life equal to the life lost this way. So again, it's pay to pay X, so I pay 4, my opponent will lose 4 life and I'll gain that 4. And the Elder Spell, uh, destroy any number of target planeswalkers. Choose a planeswalker you control, put 2 loyalty counters on it for each planeswalker destroyed this way. So again, it's another, I'm going to kill your planeswalkers, I'm going to get count, and I'm going to get add loyalty counters to my own guys. Let's see. Uh, next is Siphon Mind. Um, each other player discards card. You draw a card for each card discarded this way. So again, it's more draw power by making my opponents discard. And Gruesome Fate. Um, each opponent loses one life. For each creature you control. So again, if I've got a load of rats, I can make my opponent lose a lot of life. Um, and then the Plague of Vermin. Now, Plague of Vermin is the card that I have a combo with. With um, this card right here, if I can find it. There we go. This is the card I was on about with the combo from this. Uh, because, so I gotta read. Uh, starting with you, each player may pay an amount of life. Repeat this process until no one, no, no one pays life. Each player puts a one-one black rat creature token into play for each one life he or she paid this way. So if I've got like a life, if I've got fifty life, I pay forty to each to like every life spent I will get a rat uh, then whenever a black creature because they come in as black rats and they and this card will ping my opponents one and, and will gain me one for each card that comes in so this is a really big combo so I actually try to search these out most of the time but if I can get off if it works then I pretty much won the game then And then in Gorok's Wake, which is a destroy all creature you don't control and all planeswalkers you don't control. So again, it's a nine cast blow up the board, but well, blow up all my opponent's cards, well, creatures. And then I got Plague Winds, which is a similar one to this, but this one doesn't kill planeswalkers, it's just me. Uh, destroy creatures don't control, uh, they can't be regenerated. And the last card is like Rise of the Dark Realms, which is similar to my. It's it's got the same text as my Planeswalker. Put all creatures from all graveyards into my in, onto my battlefield under my control. Uh, then for the enchantments, now I want my gun, which is whenever the opponent discards a card, that player loses two life. So this card was on about for most of my like discard combos. Um, whenever you gain life, target opponent loses that much life. So again, it's uh, I will gain. Whenever I gain life, they will lose extra life. And then with my enchantment saga, which is the nightmare. Uh, when it, it comes in with one counter, 
uh, destroy target creature. Yeah, destroy target creature and opponent controls with power of le two or less. Then when it comes to my turn again, uh, target opponent reveals their hand. You choose a non-permanent land card from that player dis and discard it. Then when it ever gets to three, exile target opponent's graveyard, which is important because I don't want them to get get certain cards back from their bin. Now for the artifacts. No. So skull clamp, uh, my touch my rats, my uh, rats, they die, I get to draw two. Cheeky draw two. Uh, metallic mimic. Uh, as metallic mimic enters the battlefield, choose two creature type, I always pick rats. Metallic mimic is the chosen type in addition to to its other type. Um, each other creature you control that's the chosen type enters the battlefield with an with an additional plus one plus one counter on it. So again my rats are getting much bigger again. A mind stone, this is just to add some more mana to my board or I can pay one tap sacrifice store card. Elixir of Immortality, this card is used to, I pay two, I then tap, I gain five life, and I shuffle this and my graveyard back into my deck. Uh, Bone Tooth Monument, this is just used so I can, my black creatures cost one less to cast. Uh, whenever I cast a creature spell, each opponent loses a life and I gain one life. And then I'm using my, uh, the banner card. Uh, when a bear enters the battlefield, choose creature type, obviously rats, creatures you control, the chosen type gets plus one, plus one. Uh, whenever you cast a creature spell of the chosen type, draw a card. Then, Nyx Lotus, which is actually a really good card and actually quite cheap at the moment. Uh, it enters the battlefield tapped, I choose a colour, then I can add an amount of mana of that colour equal to your devotion to that color like i choose black and i get x mana equal to my devotion to black my devotion to black is two i get two extra mana and then i got my icon of act century uh, as long as uh, icon enters the battlefield as i come enter the battlefield choose creature type i'll see that which is short Again, it's just plus one, plus one, pay three, tap, look at the top four cards in my deck. You may reveal a creature card. Among, into, so I get to reveal four cards. I choose a creature among them, put it into my hand and shuffle my deck. Uh, then uh, Door of Destiny, which I choose rat. And whenever a rat enters the board, I put a counter. And then creatures I control of that type gets plus one plus one equal to how many counters I've got on it. And then my holder's horn. Uh, obviously choose rats. Uh, one less to cast rats and at the beginning of my keep it to look at the top card of my deck. If it's a rat, add it to my hand. If not, put it back on top. Then my heroic ba banner, which is when it ends board, choose a Color, uh, creature control of the chosen color gets plus one plus zero, and I can tap to produce that color. So if I choose black, I can pay one to black. And then one soul ring because it gives me two plus mana, and the last is my whip of Erebus. Uh, creatures I control have lifelink, and I can pay four to return to our creature from my bin to the battlefield. And when it dies, it is exiled. Right. When it comes to this, I will leave a a uh, deck list in the description. So now for the land. Now I won four lands and thirty basic lands. Why is my dog barking? God damn. Um, I land one witch's cottage. Uh, when it enters play, I can add a card from my graveyard. 
Enter the battlefield tab, analyze control land. Um, yeah, I can add a creature from my. Oh, I can't read upside down. For enter the battlefield untapped, you may put target creature card from your graveyard on the top of your library. There you go. And then one Cabal Stronghold. Um, I can pay free tap, and for each every each swamp, and I can. I'm uh, sorry. I add a swamp for each swamp I control. If I got five. If I pay free, I got five left. I get an extra eight mag because that's how much swamps I control. One a Boker's Bog, which when enters the battlefield. Then special tapped, and I can exile all cards from target player's graveyard. Then the last land is is my path, which enters the for tap. I can add a color to my commander's color. So again, black, and when I cast, I can uh, scry one. So and then like my my thirty land. Which isn't really important. You can have as much as you can, as many mana as you want, really. But yeah, that that is my my marrow grinder like deck profile. It's probably more longer than most of my videos. But if you guys want to see like more like commander based videos, then let me know. Or if you guys actually do like magic, then let me know. So yeah. That's been my mole going to deck profile. I hope you guys have enjoyed and listened to the video. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.